OpenAI has just released Agents SDK, allowing you to build multi-agents, just like using platforms like Agno or Crew AI, so developers can build multi-AI agents to help users accomplish specific tasks. So using the Agents SDK, you can build production-ready AI agents in Python. It uses the newly released Response API from OpenAI that comprises of chat completion and tool use. The SDK also simplifies the development of agentic apps because it has a lot of built-in tools like web search, file search, and computer use. So in this video, I will show you how to set up your working environment, get started with the agents SDK, and build your first AI agent in Python. Let's look at the building blocks of building an AI agent using the agents SDK of OpenAI. So you can create an AI agent with the following components. We have models like the OpenAI 01, O3 Mini, GPT 4.5, and the rest. The models provide core capabilities of reasoning. They can make decisions and also process different kinds of modalities. Next, we have tools. With tools, you can interface the real world by accessing external tools using function calling, web search, file search, and computer use. With knowledge and memory, you augment the AI agent with external and persistent knowledge bases like vector stores, file search, and embeddings. With guardrails, you validate input and output of the AI agent to prevent the irrelevant and harmful behavior. The last component is orchestration. With orchestration, you can develop, deploy, and monitor the performance of your AI agent visually in order to improve them. So to get started with the agent's SDK, there are a couple of things we need to do. First, you should set up a Python virtual environment and activate it with these commands. Next, we install the agent's SDK. Also, you should export your OpenAI API key. So we install the SDK with this command and use the next one to export the OpenAI API key. If you're using a Mac computer, you can copy this line and paste it in your .zshrc in order to store the API key as an environment variable. To show you a .zshrc file, I'll bring a finder and press Command Shift and H to go to the home directory. The zshrc file is a hidden file, so to show it, you should press Command Shift and period. Over here, I'll scroll down until I find it. You have noticed here, we have .zshrc, so you can open this file and save this line. That will store your OpenAI API key as an environment variable. So let's copy the first command and launch Kesa. In this example, I have opened an empty folder. You have noticed here, we don't have anything. Let's run the command by bringing the integrated terminal with control and backtick. So I'll paste it here and press the return key. So we now have the VM folder. I will copy the other line and bring it as well. So in that case, we activate the virtual environment. The next thing to do is to install the agents framework. The next thing to do is to install the agents SDK. So I'll copy this line as well. That has been successful. Next, I'll create a new file here. That is a .m file. We are going to use it to store the API key. So I want to store the API key in a .m file for future projects. Let's add another Python file and call it firstagent.py. To create an agent, we will import agent and runner from agents. Next, we will create an agent using the agent class of the SDK. So the basic requirement is to give the agent a name and instructions. You have noticed here we didn't even specify the model. I didn't find it from the OpenAI documentation. However, I'm sure if you don't specify the model you want to use, it uses GPT-40 by default. So this is just a basic form of agent. You give it a name and instructions. Next, we will store the response in result using the runner function and run it synchronously or step by step for the function to finish before moving on. One thing I forgot to mention is that with the agent class, there are some other properties. So we have all these properties, but for a basic agent, these are the only properties we need. So the last thing to do is to print out the result. I will save the changes and run it in the terminal. First, I will clear everything here and run the file. 
we have noticed in the terminal, we have an unformatted response from the agent. It shows different attributes and also display the actual response over here with the text code calls itself back. Then we have a new line and infinite loop in his space. Another new line, then endless dance of thought. We can modify the code to format the output with JSON. However, we can also check the output from the logs. So I'll go to my dashboard. Over here, we have the logs. So this is the one we just ran. You have noticed we have the system instruction from the code. If I go back to the code again, that is what we have here. You are a helpful assistant. Then we have the prompt. That is also what you see from the logs. And the output I showed previously, code calls itself back. Infinite loop in whispers and endless dance of thought. So this is how to create your first AI agent using the OpenAI's agent SDK. In upcoming videos, I'll show you how to build multi-agent applications, specifying your own models, tools, and giving the agents knowledge and memory. I will demonstrate the guardrails feature and also orchestration.